I remade every mob super scary in Minecraft. First, let's remake this bat into Dracula. Starting with his head, we'll give it that lifeless white Dracula skin color, his classic pointy ears, sharp, slicked back black hair, and of course, his red, blood-hungry eyes. Then we'll quickly open up his mouth to build his Dracula fangs. And Dracula's also always shockingly well-dressed in a black suit with white undershirt and red cuffs with a massive collar that comes up off of his cape that, of course, we can't forget to attach. And we've got ourselves Dracula in... Oh, wait! Ooh, yikes. That's okay. Bang, Dracula. Look at those massive fangy teeth. He's moving very quickly, though. He might be hungry. Let me grab ourselves a couple of these guys. Oh my goodness, that was fast. Wait, what? Those villagers just got nuked. Even a villager that managed to get inside, Dracula came in and knocked him. Here. Oh, okay, here. Ooh, what happens if I put a villager up here? Oh, he's running. And down goes the villager. Let's see how many scary mobs it takes to beat Dracula. And I've got the perfect mob to start with. Let's turn this wolf into a werewolf. Pop his head off first. We're gonna need to stand this wolf up quite a ways. Let's also beef up his back legs, making him a bit more sturdy. Next room with some werewolf fur all over with dark eyes and red pupils that you can spot in the night. And also some very, very, very sharp teeth. And we've got ourselves the werewolf in in Minecraft. His fingers look kind of spread out like he's ready to leap on something, but he isn't moving anywhere yet. Those teeth, however, though, look like he might want to eat me. I wonder what would happen to a werewolf in the daylight. Oh, look, powerful guy. Of course, if he's going to take on Dracula, we had to give him some uh, special abilities. And werewolves eat things. So this werewolf will throw bones at mobs in order to take them out. Probably former villagers. Ooh, that's not pleasant to think about. Let's give our werewolf buddy one friend, though, before they fight Dracula. We'll use this golem to make Frankenstein's monster. Give him a more pale skin tone, thicken up those eyebrows, his simple hair tufts on top of his head, and one of these Frankenstein bolts that is basically holding everything together, I think. And the monster is normally wearing pants with a ripped t-shirt. Add some more bolts here down the side and the sweet Frankenstein bracers. Now you've got Frankenstein's creation himself to go alongside you. And Frankenstein's monster looks absolutely massive. Pieced together by a couple of bolts there and there and those eyebrows that just make him look angry. Let's see if we could possibly channel some of that anger. It looks like he's already getting after these husks. And Frankenstein's monster throws an electric bolt that launched the husk away up onto the hill and over there again, and the werewolf is following up with some bony attacks. I'd say this is gonna work well, but there's only one way to find out, and best we take Dracula out of a village so he has no more blood to strengthen from. Hello, Mr. Dracula. Okay, Mr. Frankenstein, and also Mr. Werewolf. Come on, look at tough. Oh, what is this? Werewolf's trying to land some bones, but not all of them are hitting. That one managed to. They actually got him down about 10% so far. Nice work, guys. Another bone misses. The monster himself walking closer. Oh no, he's sucking the blood of the werewolf. That is not good at all. Down goes the werewolf and Dracula's back to full health. He may be immune from the blood sucking abilities of Dracula, possibly because there's nothing alive inside of him. Oh no, he's not. The magnificent earth shattering meteor. Well, that confirms that. Werewolf and Frankenstein's monster definitely not good enough to take down Dracula. Let's get some more monsters to see how many it does take. Let's remake this creeper into Siren Head. Pull all the creeper pieces apart so we can get him standing super tall. Texture him into the rusted metal color and his lengthy neck. We can extend his arms way down in multiple pieces to give it a jaggedy creaking look and really long fingernails. Of course, the massive siren sticking out both sides of his head with a near skeletal frame. And we've got Siren Head. Though I do have to dock myself a few points on this modeling here because Siren Head, some sources say 40 feet tall. And if I put myself side by side, that would make me a little over 20 feet tall. I'm definitely not. But the most accurate of all is that Siren Head is going to use his sirens to attack mobs. Bang! Three! 
two, one, smack him! Here it comes, Siren Head! Smack! That knockup is definitely gonna be useful against Dracula. But if Frankenstein's monster and a werewolf couldn't do it, uh, we're gonna probably need some more scary mobs. We can remake the Headless Horseman using this skeleton. Delete this head, obviously, because he's headless, mysteriously all black, but muscularize his frame significantly. Add the classic purple collar where his head would be sitting if he had one, and extend his magnificent cape all the way down. We've got the Headless Horseman, who has his classic Jack O'Lantern for a head, which he will not be holding on to very long, but also riding his classic black steed. When the Headless Horseman sees a mob that he's not so fond of, he will literally toss his head off. Aaron's back on, just respawned, and now here we go. Smack! Boom! AoE damage. Let's see it grow back. Woohoo! One final toss, and like some cilantro in my mother's garden, there it is. We're just also gonna have to hope that steed is quick to stay away from Dracula. But just in case it's not, let's get some help. This Enderman will be perfect to remake into Slenderman. First, let's give him his featureless white face with his plain black suit and open it up slightly to give him his usual business suit look with a simple black tie. Then the abnormally long fingernails and sprout the tentacle-like appendages out of his back. And there we've got Slenderman. Accounts of his size have been mixedly reported, but he's always wearing that black suit and that black tie, and these appendages coming off of his back with a mysteriously plain face. One of my personal least favorites, just because of how scary he is. Let's not think about it too much, though, and put those tentacle appendages to good use. Slenderman won't even have to approach the mobs. He can pull up the tentacles from the ground, all of them are gonna get hit all at the same time. He can send out the tentacles all over the place, which means I'm feeling confident about this one. Hello, Mr. Dracula. Brought you some friends, Slenderman, Siren Head, as well as my good friend, the Headless Horseman. Three on one this time, buddy. Let's see what you can do. Oh, okay, he's going right at it. Oh, but Slenderman responds. They've also all grouped up, and Dracula's gone in for a bite to suck some blood, recharge to full health, Slenderman is chasing him back down, though, trying to reach him. Unfortunately, it looks like the tentacles are not able to reach. Mr. Headless Horseman is keeping that head on a little too long. I'd highly recommend you toss it off. Finally, the head comes off, but not in time for Slenderman to still be alive. He is down. And down goes the Headless Horseman as well. Dracula's seeming way too confident right now. Uh, that didn't even manage to reach him, and down he goes as well. Okay, we definitely are gonna need some more help. Let's turn this zombie into a mummy. Instead of the classic Minecraft green skin. Let's go for an authentic rotted skin color. A pair of mummified yellow eyes. Then start wrapping them up in the mummy bandages. Arms too. Body and legs. With one mummy bandage string hanging loose off the side. We've got ourselves a mummy. I really hope those bandages are going to be strong enough to withstand a few bites from fangs. Though I'm not really sure if there's any blood left in this guy right here. Of course, if the mummy is anything, it's definitely rotten. And in the spirit of being rotted. This mummy can send a plague to attack nearby mobs. Yikes. As soon as the mummy releases the plague, it stays around and continually attacks different mobs. If we brought in a load of mummies and tossed in a ton of husks. Oh, yikes. Whoa. Yep, that works well. Let's make a scary mob that's just a little bit more tame. We could remake this witch into Wednesday from the Adams Family. First, replace this head with Wednesday's balloon-shaped head and a pale skin, very droopy dark black hair, and the knots of braids. Simple green t-shirt, buttons up the center, and Wednesday's massive white cuffs with her droopy eyelids that give her a very sleepy look. There we've got Wednesday from the Adams family. Looking sad, dreary, tired, droopy, holding a voodoo doll. If I drop in a husk here, Wednesday's just gonna walk over and then levitate this husk, dropping it back down. Here we go again. Immobilized and smacked down. And I imagine that three drops from that height will be enough to just annihilate that husk. Very efficient, Wednesday. As long as that voodoo doll works on Dracula as well, then he shouldn't be able to reach anybody to suck any blood. But every Dracula victim has been
been decisive, so let's get more help. We can remake a Demogorgon using this pillager. We'll need to replace his clothes, texturing a more ripped skin look. Lanky your arms with long, crooked fingers. The pillager head needs to have the dark Demogorgon opening and the large opening mouthpieces with teeth scattered throughout with a pair of longer legs and sharper toes. We've got ourselves the disgusting looking Demogorgon. Ooh, those teeth look absolutely gross. Don't blame you for being an angry little monster. Of course, a Demogorgon doesn't just roam the world. It can appear out of nowhere, teleporting underground in a new portal, popping out and firing off an attack at each us. Disappearing so Dracula couldn't get him, reappearing and firing off, nuked him. Let's see if he'll be able to cover the distance over to this husk. Unfortunately, it looks like that might not be the case. May have accidentally not increased the range of his abilities enough. That's okay, though. We can still get help. Of course, we're gonna need a creepy clown. So let's remake this villager. Let's pull up his body and move his arms and head forward slightly and put on a big red clown costume with that tuft portion around his neck. Of course, white face paint and a big red nose. One massive smiling clown mouth, creepy orange clown hair, and one of those clown black top hats that barely fits. The scariest of clowns would definitely not want this guy at any birthday party ever. They just look inherently uncomfortable to be around. Get away from me, buddy! Clowns being happy and all, I wanted to give him something especially sweet and pie toss that is actually poisoned and will continue eating away at the mob that receives the pie throw. You've been pied yet again, buddy. I also didn't really think this one all the way through because it doesn't do very much damage. Pie isn't a very hard material. Not to worry, though. We'll create one last mob and then take down the drag. Let's make this piglin into the hashling slasher that SpongeBob is afraid of. Make him shorter and give him his black body. Round it out for more of a plankton-like look. Grab his head and make it a nose. The slugging slasher's red eyes and his spatula for slinging hash. We have got the hash slinging slasher. Tiny but angry slinging hash with that spatula. Quite round or rotund. But of course, his round nature is only because of his great strength. Our hash slinging slasher can toss mobs into the air and flip them on their head. See you soon. There you go. Sayonara. I think with the hasher slasher slinger dasher, we're going to be able to put these three to good use. And Mr. Dracula should be very, very, very concerned, I hope. Dracula still roaming this graveyard that he has absolutely contributed to. But we've got the slinging slasher hasher dasher. No, Demogorgon. Hey, really creepy clown. Wednesday? Looking sad. And a mummy which will be hard to kill because he's already dead. Instantaneously going after Dracula, who seems very unhappy, though he's been flipped upside down from the hacker slasher slinging dasher. This is working very well so far. As long as we can keep him immobile. My goodness gracious, upside down again. Like upside, upside, ripping it down. Ripping it. And he hasn't had a single opportunity yet to suck any blood. There he goes, though, finally lands one. Wednesday sitting right underneath him seems like a really poor decision. This could be the team that does it. Demogorgon with a big toss, but they all take a massive hit right there. And Dracula officially passes the halfway mark. But we speak too soon. Down goes the slinging slasher with a blood-sucking opportunity that gives him back about 15% health. I can't stand to watch it. Here's Frankenstein, the werewolf, Iron Head, the Headless Horseman, Lenderman. Everybody charges towards Dracula. Now down to 30% health. Demogorgon does a teleport ability to get closer than all of them. Dracula's down to 15% health. I've got a feeling this is gonna be it, as long as they can avoid letting any blood get sucked. Oh, but they don't! He manages to bring himself back up to about 20%. They may not be able to pull it off. This is one of the closest fights we've ever had. Dracula's doing his best, but he's got himself cornered now, and that's gonna be it. Dracula goes down. It wasn't easy. It took every scary mob ever, but eventually they came out on top. 